What's up YouTube, it's JB Panther, back on a video, and today's video is actually going to be another bleach discussion type video. I want to talk to you guys about this because I felt like this has been on my mind for a while, and I felt like, you know, since my channel isn't mostly an anime manga channel, I want to talk to you guys about it because it's been on my mind, and we're about to get into it right now. So this is the topic of the video is pretty much, was bleach ending, at least in the manga, right, because we know that anime is coming back and stuff like that, was bleach manga's Thousand Year Blood War arc? was the ending very very disappointing <clears throat> and again in my personal opinion you know as much as i love bleach i love the series obviously you guys already know i already got my hat i got my 13 court guard squad hoodie you feel me i got all this you feel me the problem with bleach as much as i love it and it's my childhood and i grew up with it watched it since uh, adult swim around September of 2006 so I was like seventh grade when all when it popped up on Adult Swim and stuff like that I remember watched the episodes the problem with Bleach is that Bleach does have its problems and at least a thousand of blood well in general has its problems and I think the main issue what was disappointing because it was rushed <clears throat> Kubo did a lot of trolling and I know in Japan they had so much issues with it. It was it wasn't even in the top ten. It was like top fifteen or like even below that. And like he only had like six or seven weeks to end it. And also Kubo, a lot of it was his fault because he kept trolling and kept fucking around with the fan base and really trying to piss people off and stuff like that. To the point how bad I guess at least in the Japanese fan base, because in American and the Western and like guess around the world, we still love Bleach despite how much trolling and stupid crap he made we still loved it like bleach was still like bleach was still like number one in like new york times bestsellers list for like a good amount of couple of months whatever at least in america and international whatever but in japan it was at the bottom of the bottom and it was so bad the backlash of the disappointing of the ending was that in japan they started burning all their bleach stuff. i'm talking about their volumes their video games their merchandise because of <clears throat> they had like a bonfire and stuff like that and I guess they were so mad and disappointing, they couldn't even bear... They had so much hatred towards Kubo, they just burned everything down. And I'm like, you first of all, you guys wasted a bunch of money by doing all that. And second of all, I understand it's not the ending that you truly want, but they were so emotional. At least in the Japanese fan base, they were so mad and butthurt. And, you know, they got so mad at Kubo strolling, they just burned everything down. And the thing is that I'm very hopeful because now they have the Bleach anime coming back. And hopefully they can add some filler and they can actually uh, add a lot of stuff that actually makes sense. Like prop, like personally, at least add like, you know, more information about Yodorichi, Grimjow, uh, Udohara. You know what I mean? Like, it, uh, you know, like, you know, really add things where it makes sense. Because in the manga, it makes no freaking sense. And I'm about to show you proof. Because I actually bookmark <clears throat> some of the stuff in Bleach. And I think reason why I think it was disappointing. Because a lot of it was the trolling. And I'm about to show you guys here with the manga and you know we're about to get over and stuff like that one of the things i felt like it was disappointing because it was that you had the thousand year blood war it was badass and cool and all that in the first act but in, like you could tell the second act it was just freaking a mess because you had Grammy, and you had kampachi then you had uda Har um <clears throat> Uda Ahana fights kampachi and it's like if you're about to go to war why would you kill your own medic then you had you know the stern winners were pretty much were badass and cool in the first act the second act they were pretty much jokes you had pp you had uh Grammy, you had i i thought um baz b was okay then you had uh the other stern ridder that soyfun fought he was pretty weak then he's a guy i fight the other guy who stole his uh uh Maru. then you had uh, I'm trying to remember, it's hard to remember every single little detail of the Dowsing and Blood War. Then you have the World Court Guards, well, the Zero Division, and they pretty much got trolled. Then you had uh, the Hulk, the um, the Valkyrie dude that looked like a ripoff of Hulk, um, of Thor, and he just kept on getting bigger and strong. Anytime he kept on killing, he kept on getting bigger and stronger, bigger and stronger, bigger, bigger and stronger. And it was just so much trolling, so much stupid crap. And it was just like, to me, it was just like, Bleach was disappointing, at least with the the, the, the last act of the Thousand Year Blood War, because it's supposed to be like this really, really dark, serious arc, and it's just trolling and people acting stupid, kind of. It's like, it, when I was reading it weekly, it was getting annoying, because it's like, there's no development of the story. And I'm about to show you some of the stuff as well. So, like, for example, on Bleach, right? 
you have Ichigo's Bankai, right? And, you know, you'll have... I'll show you. So you'll have, like, the Zangetsu right here. And then you'll have it where... Then you'll have it cut off. You know? You know, then you'll have the trolling right here. You know, like the trolling right here. Then you'll have it where it's, uh... You know, your watch is, uh... You know, it's a lot of trolling. I'm, I'm trying to show you guys, like... <clears throat> Proof of why Bleach was disappointing. You know, I mean, I bought the manga again. I am, you know, again, I love Bleach, but Bleach was very, 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 very disappointing. You know, I'm just trying to show you the parts that I think were like the trolliest of the trollest. You know, what I mean, I know I gotta pause the video a little bit, but I'm like, you know, it's something I gotta talk about. So show you. So look, look, you know, all the trolling. And you see why Bleach was very disappointing. You know, right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, and this was pretty much the last fight. So that's why I feel like Bleach was very, very disappointing. Because it's like, okay, like, if you're gonna do this Thousand Year Blood War art, why did you waste all that time just trolling around and the problem I had with the Dowsian Blood War arc is that your watch could have just because he gave his powers to his uh stern winner and then he's like okay you guys are weak I'm gonna kill you absorb your power and become the almighty I'm like bro why do you just do that in the beginning and I'm like it would make no freaking sense if you knew this you were that freaking powerful you would have done it in the beginning and then also there's a lot of stupid crap as well where it's like uh, Ichigo, your clothes have the same clothing as the Soul King, so by you having the clothes, it makes some stupid crap, yeah, he said, like, it opens the gateway to the Soul King for 6,000 seconds, he could have just said freaking hour, you know what I mean, like, you didn't have to go that extreme with it, then you had it with the Zero Division comes in there, and then we find out about your watch's story, where you find out he's pretty much the Soul King's son, pretty much he's the evil... He's pretty much evil version of Jesus. That's what it seems like. Because, again, like, they kind of give you information. But then it's like, okay, you're the son of Soul King. Which means you're the son of God. Really means you're, you're, you're Jesus. But, like, an evil type of Jesus in a way. And <clears throat> we didn't really learn anything much about the Soul King. We just know he's supposed to be this all-powerful being that connects to all three worlds. But they never explore that in the manga, man. It's just like, okay. And I do feel like a lot of it is Kubo's fault as well because he had the full brain arc, which I'm like, you could have just skip all that and go straight to... After the Ronka arc, you could just skip all that and go straight to the Thousand Year Blood War arc instead of just wasting our time with the full brain <clears throat> and trying to get Ichigo's powers. Then he gets stabbed and he gets his new powers back and all that. He did all that for a glove and like some stuff on his chest, whatever. And I was like, that was just a waste of time and doesn't even further the story at all. So there's a lot of stuff that Kubo's done that makes Bleach uh, really not that powerful. You know what I mean? It made made it where people were pissed about it. And one of the things I loved about Bleach is that I think Bleach did a really good job when it came to like the representation. They had kind of like everybody could have been a soul reaper. You know, females. You know, you had the gay character. Then you had the black character. You had Yonoichi. You had uh, Tisa Gaia. You had Rangiku. You had Soifon. You had... Um, Udahana. Like, I mean, like, they did a really good when it came to, like, representation. They had the dog dude, Kamara, whatever. But, like, I liked how anybody could be a soul reaper. I mean, it doesn't matter <clears throat> what race and gender and stuff like that you could be. And I felt like that's one of the reasons why it resonated around the world. Um, Bleach resonated around the world for at least new anime fans and anime fans in general. People weren't really into Bleach. It was like the gate. It was one of the gateway animes that people kind of could just jump into and really get into the franchise and stuff like that. But I feel like Kubo could have done something way, way bigger. I felt like he shot themselves in the foot, but it is what it is. That's in my personal opinion. That's why I feel like why Bleach is one of the why I feel like the ending of Bleach is very, very disappointing. It's because of those reasons, and I feel like if he didn't troll and did stupid crap. He could have really made Bleach into a bigger, bigger, like, stronger franchise and a stronger anime and manga if he didn't do all the trolling and the picture frames and all the stupid crap he did before. I'll say before. I think in my perspective, I think he started acting trollish when it came to the car, um, 
the the war with Aizen, like the Aronk, like the Espadas, like with Baragon, Aizen, uh, Baragon, Stark, Halibel, like the fake Karakura town, that's when you start seeing a lot of the trolling and like the stupid crap he started doing. So that's what makes me thinking like, okay, if he didn't start trolling around that time, I think Bleach would have been, uh, would have probably would have been just as big as, uh, it was still big, but I would have seen Bleach being a top five or top ten for a lot longer than just after Ron Carr, like it just goes downhill. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about my video. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.